<laughs> Don't worry, Kitty. That whale isn't going to eat you. Who knows? Hmm, that's a good question, Kitty. Hey, friends, I know there have been many tales about these giant mammals feeding on humans. But have you ever wondered if it's really possible? In today's episode, let us dive into the massive mouth of whales and explore a thrilling question. What if you get swallowed by a whale? Zoom in! The internet is filled with videos of people having a close encounter with these giant creatures and fortunately managed to escape a possible trip to the unknown. But one unfortunate incident of such kind was published in 1891 by an American newspaper about a man named James Bartley who was swallowed alive by a sperm whale. According to the story, on a pleasant day when Bartley and his crew went fishing, their boat was attacked by a massive whale and he slipped inside the whale's mouth. A few days later, his team managed to capture the whale and cut it open and to their surprise, they found Bartley inside it who managed to survive the ordeal. It was said that he was in the whale for 36 hours and his skin had been bleached by the gastric juices that also blinded him for the rest of his life. He lived to tell the tale of the adventures for some time and died 18 years later. As his tombstone says, James Bartley, a modern day Jonah. But was it for real or just a hoax? After all, the blue whale is the largest animal on the planet. Its tongue alone weighs as much as an elephant. And it is said that it can fit anywhere between 400 and 500 people in its mouth. So, swallowing a human should be an easy peasy lemon squeezy task for them, isn't it? Well, fortunately, that's not the case when it comes to the blue whale because their anatomy makes it nearly impossible for them to swallow more than it can chew. Yes, these creatures are designed to eat small prey like sea plankton and the opening in their throat is only about as large as a basketball. So, you'd never make it that far. I know what you are thinking, but it was not the blue whale. Instead, its toothed cousin, sperm whale, that swallowed the sailor. Well, in that case, he wouldn't have survived to tell the story. Yes, if someone accidentally lands in the mouth of a sperm whale, the first thing they will face is its massive pointy set of teeth that is likely to shred its prey into pieces. But if someone managed to get past the teeth, the next hurdle will be its dark and slimy throat with a lack of oxygen and an abundance of methane gas, making it difficult for the prey to breathe. And as the prey slides down its massive roller coaster throat, hydrochloric acid will begin to eat its skin. And after that fiery ride, the prey will be dropped into the whale's first stomach, the largest of its four guts, where the acid will start to rapidly dissolve the prey's skin. Later, it will get pushed down the other three stomachs, one after the other, until it ends up just a bunch of skeleton and will be pooped out the next morning. But the most critical factor here is that even the sperm whale has a relatively small throat opening, despite the wide gap of the lower jaw away from the rest of the head. This makes James Bartley's story a complete hoax as there is no way that a whale could swallow a human alive. Maybe because they just don't like them. <laughs> Trivia 
time. Did you know there are two types of whales, toothed and baleen? Yes, toothed, as the name suggests, have teeth like sperm whales and orcas, whereas baleen whales lack teeth and are larger in size, such as blue whales, humpbacks, etc. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.